low mileage mint condition one that we've just picked up at the weekend. So it's done 67,000 miles and uh, it's pretty good, we'd have to say, yeah. It's truly mint, as in the under seal is immaculate and it's been re under sealed and the interior looks factory fresh. The only thing you could say about it is uh, sun fading on certain things, and uh, but overall, you wouldn't believe it's a 10 year old car. 20 year old. 20, oh my god, 20. Yeah, 2001. So, uh, yeah, like you said, the underseal doesn't look like it's just been sprayed over any rust. It looks like it was factory fresh clean when it was done. And it uh, looks like the guy's been under there washing it um, to keep it clean. There's not a sign of dirt on it or anything. To put it in context, I've never seen a Range Rover, Land Rover, Defender, Discovery, it doesn't matter what you shake stick it in the old Land Rover stable, it looks so clean underneath. No, it, uh, it certainly is a good one. And uh, it drives pretty much like new as well. And yeah, it's very, very pleasing to get one in this condition. Just having a little drive out in the sunshine and uh, going to enjoy it. Might as well. So today we're um, heading up towards the Wentworth estate and uh, we'll just go and uh, take some pictures of it and uh, maybe uh, get some video footage of it out in the countryside around Wentworth. It's uh, certainly a nice day for it. The largest palatial palace outside of the royal family in Europe, no less. So, uh, that's the total sum of JB's knowledge on it, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it's more than my knowledge was, though, you know, <laughs> first fair. Uh, 
uh, just just getting out of the doldrums of being owned by British Leyland. <laughs> yeah, it's another dark <laughs> and, chapter. And, and Rover Group, which was, uh, yes, a very sad, sad. It is interesting if you think part about of the, the history, the amount of brilliant uh, car companies in Britain that have succumbed to ludicrous management decisions like uh, the Leyland Group or British. Uh, having five or six companies produce cars all competing against each other. Well, that's a charming idea, that is. Oh, yes, that's, that's, I can't harm ourselves, can it?
through uh, Wentworth and uh, nicely parked up for a bit of uh, change of perspective on the camera, I think. Just uh, carry on round the uh, Wentworth estate area a bit more. Yes. Uh, see some more of the views of a different camera angle. Yes, camera position three, ladies and gentlemen. She's got basically a, a full-on chair strapped to her back <laughs> with a child with grapes in one hand and uh, enjoying life basically. It was sat proud of her head by about two feet, this child. Old cyclist at least 12 meters and all sorts of other things to make them feel safe on the road. Oh no, we'll go to a breast. So that means that you have to be in someone's garden to bypass them. <laughs> So nothing can be left to your imagination. Uh, 
pushed off into the side of the road somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. 